Hi, this is me, Mansure, and you're watching ELT Zone. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about grammar translation method, or Prussian method, or classical method. So let's guess. No, wait. Hit the subscribe button. We're good. Yeah, very good. Now let's go. As the name shows, GTM uh, originated from German scholarship. It is started from 1840s to 1940s and um, continues to be used till today. If you want to know about when it all started before GTM, please check this video up here. Yeah. It was called classical method because it was first used in the teaching of uh, classical languages, Latin and Greek, and first known in the United States as Prussian method. This method was used for the purpose of helping students to read foreign language literature. Hope that students studying a new target language would help them get more familiar with their own native language grammar and they get better at uh, their speaking and writing of their native language. And finally, they believe that it's a good mental exercise. Back then, they believed that brain is like a muscle to exercise. So language classes were mostly like a memorization of vocabulary pairs and translation of literary texts. The language that is used in the class is the student's native language. So the first language isn't banned and it is used to explain new items and the comparison between L1 and L2. Translation is important. Students memorize L1 equivalents for L2 vocabulary words and vice versa. If they could translate one language into another, they are considered successful students. The major focus is on reading and writing, but the ability to communicate in the target language is not the goal. And also a lot of emphasis on accuracy, but no attention to the pronunciation. The grammar is explicit or deductive or direct. It means first teaching rules followed by some examples. So students, they have to memorize the rules and examples and they were asked to apply the rules to other examples. And about the culture, students' study of the culture is limited to literature and fine arts. In this method, it is very important that the students get correct answers, so their errors get corrected immediately. And the role of the teacher, she's the authority and the students do what she says, or what he says. Interactions, there is mostly um, teacher to students interaction and a little student initiation, I mean student to, te to teacher. <laughs> and um, little student to student interaction. Okay, now let's see some examples. The teacher provides the students a passage, maybe from the target language literature, or she writes one with particular grammar rules and vocabulary. The students answer questions related to the passage in L2. They are given set of words to find antonyms, synonyms, or to define them. And they are taught to recognize cognates by learning spelling and sound patterns. For example, like brother in English and border, if I'm not mistaken, in German. Border? Yeah, something like that. Um, to make a connection between languages. After teaching the grammar rules deductively, which they need to memorize the grammar rules, by the way, so students are giving a series of sentences with words missing. 
They fill the blanks with new vocabularies or a particular grammar type. They are given lists of vocabulary words with their native equivalents and also in order to show the understanding of students, they should make the sentences with new vocabularies. And finally, the teacher gives the students a topic to write about, familiar, hmm? and, and the topic is related to the reading passage of the lesson. That was it! Grammar translation method in short version. <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and in the comment section below, um, write about your likes and dislikes about the techniques of this method. At the end, I want to read some of my um, beautiful comments and my previous uh, video as a thank you. <laughs> um, it was truly great. Keep going, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So proud of you. I'm so proud of me too. You know, finally doing this. It is hard. Okay, everything has professionally done. So Zantin, thank you so much. Thank you. It was great transferring useful information. Everything was perfect. Keep going. Hope you best. Thank you so much. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.